Hey guys, we're out here in the hands-on center today, getting ready for our first factory school starting next Monday. And we're just getting all the equipment ready. This is a call that I see come into tech support quite a bit. Just wanted to make a quick video on it. It's the orientation of the float switches on the Neo undercounter machine. Let me zoom in so you can take a look. Okay, so I've taken off the top cover of this machine to give you guys a nice bird's eye view of these float switches inside of the water trough. You can also access these switches through the front cover where you would normally scoop your ice out of. We're gonna start with this front float switch. This is called the ice thickness float. It's the one with the black wire harness. You see here that it has three possible positions. We've set it in the middle position from the factory. This gives you about an eighth inch bridge of ice. If you move it over to the left, this is gonna be a little bit higher than the center position. This results in more water being brought in during the fill cycle and it's gonna give you a little bit thicker of a bridge of ice. If you move it over all the way to the right, this is the lowest setting. This is going to result in the least amount of water being brought in during the fill, giving you the thinnest bridge of ice. The black wire harness wires into the white wires that will come through the bulkhead. Next, let's take a look at our red wired float switch. This is your harvest float switch. This only has one possible position that it will fit into. You can disregard these other two grooves here. They're not used. It will only sit in one position. This tells the machine that we've used all the water, turned it into ice, and it's now time to initiate a harvest. The red wired float switch wires into the two red wires when you pull it through the bulkhead. Normally, the machines would have a grommet in each of these holes but our training unit here, since it gets so much use, does not have the grommets any longer. All right, now you should know where your floats go after you do a PM service or any sort of a service on this machine. That's usually when we get calls about these is, oh, I didn't pay attention to where I took the floats out. Where do they go back in? Hopefully this will save you from having to wait in the queue for one of those guys in tech support to give you a call back. For Manitowoc Ice, like and subscribe for more content.